Marvel fans, an absolutely insane rumor just hit the internet all about Tobey Maguire coming back to play Spider-Man in Sam Raimi's fourth Spider-Man film. And that's absolutely nuts. But as I was doing some research and talking to different people about this rumor, I discovered something even more crazy. And it has to do with Tobey Maguire and Tom Holland's Spider-Man. And this has never before been shared. It's mind-blowing. We got to break it all down. Smash a freaking like and let's begin. Okay, so first up, let's talk Tobey Maguire Spider-Man 4. This is a crazy freaking rumor that just hit the internet yesterday. In an interview with comicbook.com, Sandman actor Thomas Hayden Church expressed interest to coming back to the Spider-Man villain role of Sandman. He, he plays Sandman. And he talked about coming back for a potential Spider-Man 4 led by Tobey Maguire and Sam Raimi in the director's chair. Here's what he said in the interview yesterday. There's always been some kind of I've heard rumors that Sam Raimi was going to do another Spider-Man movie with Toby. And if that happens, I would probably campaign to maybe at least do a cameo. And this obviously blew up all over the internet because it's an actual actor that plays one of the villains in Spider-Man talking about how they have heard rumors that we're going to get a Spider-Man 4 with Toby and freaking Sam Raimi. And if you didn't know, there was actually a Spider-Man 4 being worked on by Sam Raimi. And of course, after Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield returned to their respective roles as Spider-Man, AKA Peter Parker and Spider-Man No Way Home, a lot of fans were curious as to whether or not any of those other franchises would continue. Now, interestingly, this is not the first time that Thomas Hayden Church has talked about returning to the role of Sandman in future Spider-Man stories. Back in March of this year, he was also talking about all these conversations that he had had with John Watts, with Amy Pascal, and with Kevin Feige, and these were all centered around the character of Clint Markov, the possibility of him coming back. They had even apparently talked about that character returning in like the next version or the next iteration. And that's so interesting, and it really takes me back to the time period of when Spider-Man No Way Home was coming out. Because the movie was such a smash hit that a lot of the questions that were asked to everybody involved was like, when are you going to do this again? Like, how are you going to get the band back together? This was so fun. And there's a lot of stuff about Toby and Andrew both being talked about when it comes to the Spider-Man films. And just yesterday, Grace Randolph herself chimed in on this entire story and the whole situation with the Spider-Man. She says here, there is no movement on Spider-Man 4. I hear Andrew Garfield would be open to making Amazing Spider-Man 3, but wants Feige involved, so unlikely as well. Not that these things couldn't happen someday, but they are not happening right now. And this is just in reference to all the hype, all the questions, and all the excitement. I do find it really interesting that Andrew is open to doing more, but he wants Kevin Feige involved. Really seems like Sony would not be up for that. And so that all leads me to yesterday when I reached out to my own sources, and I was absolutely sure shocked at what I was told. A couple people said it's possible, maybe it could actually happen, but there's no evidence of it actually going down. Some of the people I talked to said there were a lot of discussions on how to bring Toby back into the fold of Marvel, whether it be on a Sony project or on a Marvel MCU project. And then I heard something absolutely mind-blowing from the most reliable source that I have. This person said it's unlikely that there would be a Spider-Man 4 with Tobey Maguire and Sam Raimi, but that Toby was absolutely coming back for Secret Wars and might also appear in Tom Holland's next Spider-Man film. What? What the fuck? You heard that correctly. There's an outside chance that Tobey Maguire might actually be in the next Tom Holland Spider-Man. And as soon as I heard that, I was like, wait, what? I thought the next Tom Holland Spider-Man was going to be grounded. It was going to be very street level and it was going to involve the Kingpin. And that's when this source told me I had heard that incorrectly and that the multiverse was going to play a role in the next Spider-Man film and it was possible Toby would come back for that movie. Now that got me thinking because technically this would be the fourth Spider-Man for the Tom Holland character, right? And Sam Raimi's name has been floated around with a lot of different upcoming Marvel projects, including Secret Wars. And so going back to the comments made by Tom 
Thomas Hayden Church, is it possible the rumors that he heard were actually about a fourth Spider-Man movie that Sam Raimi might be attached to that might have Toby in it, and that very movie is actually the next Tom Holland Spider-Man movie. And this kind of takes a lot of what we thought we knew about the next Tom Holland Spider-Man movie and flips it on its head. But I guess that kind of makes sense as these rumors are years old at this point and things over at Marvel Studios are almost always in flux. And as much as I would love to see a more grounded Spider-Man film, considering everything else that's going on in the Marvel multiverse, it would seem a little strange if the next Spider-Man movie was just all based in New York and there's all this crazy stuff going on. And then Tom Holland is supposed to be the lead of Avengers the Kang Dynasty, what? And given everything that Sony did in Across the Spider-Verse and all that they're setting up with the spider totems and the possibility of Madam Web dealing with the idea of the web of life and destiny and crazy cosmic things like that. I mean, I guess it just really makes sense that they would wanna do the multiverse. And I mean, put yourself in Sony's position, guys. They just had Across the Spider-Verse breaking all kinds of records for them in performing very well. And before that, they had an epic Spider-Man movie with all three Spider-Man and Spider-Man No Way Home, and it made like all the money in the world. So do we really think that Sony, who Marvel would have to work with to do the next film, yeah, do we really see that company looking at all this multiverse stuff and the oodles of money they made and then being like, yeah, let's just make it kind of a smaller Spider-Man story. The more I thought about it, the more it just absolutely makes sense to crack that multiverse thing wide wide open and I think as we get further along towards Secret Wars and even towards Kang Dynasty the multiverse itself is going to play a huge role in almost all of these stories. I think it's also important to consider that Secret Wars was originally going to happen way sooner. Now it's been pushed all the way back to 2027 and I'm sure that both Marvel and Sony want to tap back into the Spider-Man trio and all the magic that was created with those movies as soon as possible. Either way, this is free freaking mind-blowing. It changes everything I thought I knew about Spider-Man 4 and what's going on with Tom Holland. I, I hope that maybe some more information comes out as we get a little bit closer towards that movie actually coming out. I mean, with the strike going on right now, they're not likely to make any big moves on it, but from what we understand, they've had a lot of different ideas, and I think they've even started the script before the writer's strike. And so what do you think about this? What do you think of the next Tom Holland Spider-Man? Spider-Man movie, maybe having Toby in it? Do you think it's gonna go hard on the multiverse or maybe just use the multiverse a little bit to kind of have Toby be a part of it? Either way, this is earth shattering news. I wanna know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. Smash a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel because I've got a huge video coming out about new leaks for Deadpool 3, proving some stuff incorrect from the other leagues it's absolutely nuts so make sure you stay tuned for that and if you want to ask me anything about these leaks or just anything going on nerdy come on by the live streaming channel we stream mondays wednesdays and fridays